this is gangster music. This, 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 this is, 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 this
He knew if he kept grinding, he could make his paper route label become just as big as any label. He later revealed it wasn't just major labels reaching out, but other artists like Yo Gotti who was also well known in the city. Yo Gotti offered a deal for Dolph, but he turned it down because he didn't need the money, and he didn't want to be known for only signing to someone else. Initially, there were no issues with Dolph turning the offer down, it was just business. He kept making waves in the industry dropping hit songs like Preach and Cut It with OT Genesis. But by 2016, the Young Dolph and Yo Gotti issue appeared to be a lot larger than before. The two began taking shots at one another in songs and on social media. Dolph stated Yo Gotti was still mad he wouldn't sign to his CMG label or do music with him. This beef would actually divide the city of Memphis for years to come. It was either Paper Route or CMG. Other rappers like Black Youngster who was signed to Yo Gotti would also join in the beef. After Dolph released his first album titled King of Memphis, things escalated further. He stated the album name didn't mean he was the only King of Memphis, just that he was a king. Despite trying to downplay it in interviews, both sides continued to release songs targeted at each other. Most notably, Young Dolph's Play With Yo Bitch song, which mocks CMG and Yo Gotti for trying to sign him. Things would start to get serious. Just one day after this was released, Dolph was in North Carolina in a black SUV. Around 6.30 p.m., a car pulled up next to him and released over 100 shots into the car. Luckily for Dolph, he had already spent $250,000 bulletproofing the entire car. He left the scene without a scratch and performed at the club the same night. This inspired his next hit song, 100 Shots, but the smoke wasn't clear. In September that same year, Dolph and Yo Gotti were staying at the same hotel in Hollywood, California. Three men approached him outside the hotel, and a fight broke out. Dolph was knocked to the ground when one man pulled out a gun and shot him multiple times. He was sent to the hospital, but he recovered a few days later. A man named Corey was arrested on an attempted murder charge. Corey was Yo Gotti's affiliate. Surprisingly, things appeared to slow down after this near-death experience. Although it was made clear both sides were not going to let up, Dolph's career continued to grow. He shifted his energy to signing new artists and producers to his Paper Route label. Most notably his cousin Key Glock, who also started to make waves for Paper Route in 2018. Their songs together were becoming fan favorites, and they even dropped their collab album, Dumb and Dumber, which peaked at number 5 on the Billboard. Although Dolph had released his first mixtape 10 years before, his music was still evolving, and he was finally getting the recognition he deserved. In July of 2021, Dolph and Paper Route dropped their first label project, Paper Route Illuminati. This helped introduce the world to a variety of new artists he co-signed. He wanted everyone in his paper route label to win and was doing everything he could to make that a reality. I woke up and looked in the mirror. Let the band play. I said, Dolph, you that nigga. Unfortunately, on November 17th, Dolph left his home in Memphis in his camel sports car. He headed down to a local bakery where he often bought his favorite cookies from. While ordering inside, a car pulled up alongside the shop and opened fire. Dolph was hit at least two times and passed away on the scene. Memphis police encouraged people to stay inside as Dolph's influence is so large in the city they feared retaliation. Photos of two suspects and a Mercedes-Benz coupe have been released, but they have not been identified yet as law enforcement are still building the case. Fans bombarded Yo Gotti's comment section on Instagram, assuming he may have been involved in this, but it's too early to make assumptions to that degree. Young Dolph spent 12 years building his empire that he said his kids' kids would eat off of. There's no question that he accomplished that goal, but he also wasn't anywhere close to being done. As an artist that stayed true to himself, stayed independent, and took the long road, he had a long life ahead of him. Memphis and the rest of the hip-hop community will miss him, but the paper route empire is forever. This, this the rap game, but this really ain't nothing but the streaks. You gotta play this game right get away from the environment, you know what I mean, just to better yourself, just to grow. Like, not, you can't be comfortable, never. It's just a part of life right now. Whether we like it or not, it's a part of life.